Okay, uh, first off, first off, I really love this film, but I was, as a cinephile, I'm just wondering all the the visual setups that you had to do throughout the movie. It's like you're shooting several films in once. What, as a director, what is the key to actually uh, being focused and remaining sane throughout the production? It just seemed like very, very hard to do. Uh, I mean, no, I, 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 yes, it's tough, but I mean, I always, I always find a little bit weird to complain about, about doing a job, which is so amazing, which is a dream job for me, uh, which has been a dream job for me. So for so many years when I was a, a kid or a teenager, so, I mean, I don't know, I think you, so just to, for a serious answer to your question, I think to be able to handle that, you need to work a lot before so that the movie is really deep in your bones, in your flesh, in your soul, when you start to shoot first day on the set. So if if you really have the movie inside you, uh, you're able to 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 move fast and use your instincts when you're on set and and keep everything clear. So that's yeah, that's what I would say. The best advice. Joanna, would you apply the same type of advice for your character as as far as it being deep in your soul? Because there's a lot of backstory in your character that doesn't need to be explained, but when you're the watcher, you can actually see that you your character is not something just on the page. You've actually lived a life. Is that part of it, that extensive research and interior life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like Svetlana, have you know, huge conflict uh, between her husband and Matthew? But I think at the same time, she has something like crisis, you know, she's very, she, she loves her husband, she has deep connection with him, she's full of life, but because of war, all, all of this, you know, situation, she can't exist normally, she has, you know, like the Russian soul too, very deep, different than Matthew from France, so it was really nice to act between this two personality. And at the same time, there was like new love between her and Matthew. So, and she's like, she really don't know exactly. It's it's always like, like the fire and she's, she's always fight, like what to do. And I think it was really interesting to play this character. And what more? I think for me, I played for the first time in Russian. So it was quite new for me. And uh, I think mm, Svetlana had some mystery too. So it's it's really nice to observe her deep inside strong battle, but I try to play not too much, only all of these feelings she she had in her, you know, full deep stomach feelings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, J- Jerome, you, you have such a great ensemble. Are you a hands-on director when it comes to the actors or is the work already finished when you're casting because you already know they're talented, you already know they're going to do a great job? What is it like for you? Do you, do you just let them go out and do their job while you're worrying about other things or, or are you very much hands-on scene by scene? I mean, when you're lucky enough to have actors like Joanna or Gilles, I mean, honestly, <laughs> most, most of the job is done. Eh? I mean, it makes at least it makes everything easy. Apart from that, I don't have one answer for that because and I, uh, because I think every actor is different, and my job is to try to get the best from every actor. So you have actors who need to talk a lot before. You have actors who are not really interested into that. You have actors who need to talk on set, on the set, and other actors who need to be quiet, you know, in the bubble. And so I think that every actor, every relationship that you you build with an actor is very specific and very different, and this is. I guess part of my job to be able to understand what is required by by the actor to give the the best of his or her talent. Joanna, for you, just exploring the landscape, the Russian culture, as well as France, is exploring different cultures 
as an actor, is that just something that you can easily do? Or you've always been passionate about exploring other cultures, maybe as a child, and you just, it's a passion you've had for for a lifelong passion? No, I, that... uh, no, no, you know, I, I started to explore like different cultures and languages uh, by the movies because I grew up with a small village in Poland. So generally, you know, it was Polish language, you know, and 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 that's it. But when I started to play in the movies, I started to travel a lot. So then I noticed that my mountain culture it's something different than different regions in Poland. So the people in our, you know, like Novosondechizna, they are very open. They talk a lot. They don't have a problem with showing their feelings. So it helps me to communicate, especially when I started my first movie, current first movie in French. One was The Woman in the Fifth with Pavel Pavlikovsky and second L with uh, um, Małgosia Szumowska, so the stars, they were, you know, like Christine Scott Thomas and Cox with Binoche. I didn't speak um, French, English, only Polish. I was 24. So <laughs> it was really hard, very hard for me to do. But because I was very, you know, open for, for, general for people, I think I am a good person. I don't have, you know, like, in French, prejudice or something like, oh, somebody is superstar and is better than, you know, homeless or poor people. I was very poor when I was small, so for me, I didn't have a lot. So for me, always to be with a different culture, it was something like I share my soul and my culture with different cultures. And generally, human being, it's human being. So... When I had some problem, uh, Pavel helped me with, you know, with language. And, and, and he said, Jana, you, you really like to talk, so you will learn very quickly <laughs> for languages. So I did. So for me, it's always new, 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 new journey. And for me, the movie, very often, because for me, I know that there's a lot of uh, different uh, method, like method actor, acting or a lot of strange things. But for me, I don't know how to say in English, but sometimes it's like a journey for different planets. So you have to do preparation, like you, I don't know, maybe it's too hard to say like Monteverest, but there is like, you need to preparation then. You will spend a lot of days, 12 hours all the time with the same people, which it's, you are very close with them. But then the move is finished and that's it. And everything will disappear and you have to back home and you feel really lonely because no one <laughs> understands <laughs> this journey. And, and then after two years, we, we have conversation uh, uh, about this. But for me, like be with different cultures, it's always something which I really, really like. And then... Um, Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's um, nice, but in the end, I think when you have to cross your zone comfort and you have to act with different languages, which is not the same like in Polish, it's, it's interesting, it's exciting, it's hard, but when you have this, you feel like you, oh, you have your own Monteverest. You have another, you know, you know, like a goal, and your experience is is is, is bigger. So you feel more comfortable, and you know that always there is the way for communication. Only you have to be open, and if you don't understand something, the you no know, coaches they can help you with languages. So with Compromat, I I had a Russian coach and a French coach. With Gilles, we speak in English for, because I really like to... I understood more um, feelings in English than French, but I speak French. But we act in French, which was nice because for our acting, we have our own language. And for 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 our communication on the set, we have English. So we didn't have a problem with switch and we didn't have a problem who is Gilles, who is Joanna, and then who is Svetlana and Matthew because Svetlana and Matthew, they had their own 
love language. <laughs> wow, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. That you did, you guys did a great job. Thank you so much and uh, take care. Love this movie. Thank you. Thank Thanks. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. This is Cinematics.